Well, the healing power of stem cells is now helping dogs in pain. South Texas veterinarians say that they are excited about this new therapy, making a big difference for our beloved pets. Wendy Rigby has the story, new at 10. <laughs> yeah. Can I eat it? <laughs> Oscar is an 11 year old Australian terrier, an agility competitor that suffered from osteoarthritis, impacting his usual exuberant nature. He was starting to really slow down and he was starting to suffer. Yeah. Instead of medications that provide only marginal relief and create side effects, owner Judy Larson turned to the Perrin 410 Animal Hospital for help. Doctors performed a new procedure called adipose stem cell therapy. We treat the fat, process it, activate it, and then inject it back into the animal the same day. The procedure takes about four hours. Doctors first harvest fat tissue from the abdomen, then they process it and activate the stem cells. The injections back into the joint promote regeneration of the damaged areas in the bone, cartilage, ligaments, and tendons. And with this, there is no side effect, no harmful side effect. It's from the, from the, the animal itself and injected back in, so there is no, there's no donor involved. Yeah, he's got Pets start to show improvement in two weeks and continue to get better over the next two to three months. It was time going backwards. You know, his eyes cleared up, he started to grow hair again, his energy level went back up, his appetite, and then he's like getting my dog back. The cost is about $2,000. Vets say the procedure pays for itself in about two years since dogs no longer need expensive meds and tests. Dr. Brian Stuckey has treated 16 dogs this way so far. He calls it a huge advancement in pain management. We, we can't cure a bad joint, but we can make it, fix it so it does not hurt as much. Stem cell therapy won't necessarily extend a dog's life, but vets say their quality of life will improve, and that can make all the difference for an animal in pain. Wendy Rigby, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.